G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza, I'm Jazza, and before we jump into the announcement of the showcase and winners to the March 2018 Challenge of the Month, I'm going to start off with two quick announcements. The first is if you enter the VR category or you created something in Tilt Brush or Quill, it won't be included in this video, it's going to be in a video that comes out in a number of weeks from now dedicated to the VR entries and the uh, announcement of people who won some prizes in that. Just hold your horses and you'll have a whole video to yourself a couple of weeks from now. The other thing I wanted to announce is going to come to a shock to a lot of people watching this and that is that this is going to be the last monthly art challenge on this channel. This isn't the end of art competitions on this channel, just the end of the regular uh, monthly form of the competitions and the amount that they've been happening every year. So in short there's going to be less competitions on this channel and they'll come out a little more unpredictably based on what I feel like a competition would be when it's a cool idea or if I can get some really cool prizes together with some cool sponsors but at the end of the day I've made this decision for a number of reasons which I'll link to a vlog on my vlog channel which explains all of them in depth if you're wanting to hear more about that but more importantly if you really want to make sure you don't miss out on the opportunity to join in the future competitions when they come about make sure to go to jazzastudios.com slash challenge me I'll put the link in the description which leads to a place where you can just subscribe to a newsletter which will only ever email you when when a challenge is announced. YouTube's algorithm doesn't really serve these videos very well anyway, so there's a high chance you'll miss them, especially because they don't notify all subscribers of my videos anyway. So just make sure to subscribe to that newsletter. I promise you'll never be sent anything but a notification of when a competition is announced, and it just means that even if you want the opportunity to maybe enter in the future, you'll always have the chance or the, be informed when there's an opportunity. With that covered though, it's time to jump into this month's theme, which was called My Oasis, where participants were required to create a depiction of their ideal avatar and a world of whatever possibilities they wish could come to life based on the VR film that came out recently, Ready Player One, where the Oasis is a place where anyone can be anyone and do anything in any possible world. And I was interested to see what your Oasis sees. Oh, o Oasis. Oasises. Sees what your versions of the Oasis would look like. So without any further delay, let's jump into the showcase of some notable entries and pieces I thought were really great for this month's challenge. We begin our showcase with artist Sixel and a piece called World of Dragons. I love the mixture of colors and textures here. Meanwhile, the Space Mermaid 230's piece, the most badass oasis you've ever seen, is definitely badass and has a great mixture of colors and really interesting avatar character design. Elise Rhapsody's piece called Taking in the Scenery is an interesting it's sort of mix of something that looks a bit like an RPG game style oasis level, but obviously something in which this artist can picture themselves sitting down and taking time to enjoy the view. Pinky's piece Hero's Dream has fantastic line art around the character and a really nice composition of the scene. Love the use of traditional art material and colours. And Robot June's A World of Diversity has a fantastic composition and mix of colours here. There's a lot to look at and I really enjoy the mixture of hues. I love artist Anxiety's use of really interesting and rich colours and character designs here. And artist Earns's High Tech Jungle is a really fun adventure style oasis piece and I love the little hints throughout the piece to other pop culture things such as the Star Wars ships in the background and there's even a Planet Express Futurama ship way in the background too. Artist Nachos and T has depicted their avatar going on a midnight quest with a golden castle glimmering in the background and really appealing character style here and artist Elemental X Arts piece depicts a bit of a family heartwarming scene in a gorgeous forest clearing surrounded by cherry blossoms and sunshine. This to me is proof that even the sappiest the most romantic of oases can compete with the action adventure RPG style ones. Papaya Arts piece called My Imagination has a wonderful mix of colors and lovely composition. And artist Anton Fork has created a gorgeous painterly aesthetic that's captured a really mystical environment and uh, you can see their avatar character shrouded in red off in the distance. Pumpkin Witch's depiction of their oasis is almost like a storybook picture. Meanwhile, Hamzilla 15's depiction shows some really cool 
stretching of the scene around an almost fisheye sort of aspect as their avatar character prepares to head off into the unknown adventures of their oasis. And now if Disneyland is the happiest place on earth, then Trix KS's oasis is a depiction of the happiest place in all of the virtual worlds because we have it flooded to the brim with Disney characters and references. I had a giggle at Mr. Linsang Arts piece whose oasis is apparently just beating me to a pulp every day. So, uh, I mean, that's fun <laughs> for someone. Probably not for me. And artist Alexander Empire has a really interesting take on the other side of the Oasis. Someone who crafts these Oasis worlds rather than someone standing in their own Oasis. This is a, uh, a reality architect of Oasises. And I thought that was just a really cool concept. Artist Nick Cheery's piece is astoundingly well painted and I love that richly deep composition of the foreground, midground, and background, the way the sky is painted and the way that the lights contrast with the hues of blue. Teenager's piece depicts an RPG style avatar at level zero, entering a brave new world of adventure. And Oasis Co. 51's entry is so full of intense creativity, it's hard to even take it all in in one glance. You just really have to take time to soak in how much attention to detail this creative piece has. And last but not least in the showcase, Paradox Arts piece has a really cool depiction of both someone in the real world donning their virtual gear and their avatar donning the same pose in virtual reality. I love the variety of depictions that people had of both the avatars that would represent them to the worlds that they, they created for themselves, be they creative and artistic or game based and like really adventurous or even just meditative and tranquil. I just loved how everyone's oasis was completely unique to them. It was just really cool to see. With that said, it's time to move on to the prize category, starting off with the beginner category, which is reserved for people to enter if they are very young or new to art. And the runner up to the beginner category is artist The Sky is Falling 567 with a piece called Welcome to the Everspace. I love the intense mixture of colors here and the texture of the traditional art materials. The night sky in particular is really captivating, but the richness of these colors and the way the composition comes together is gorgeous and very well pulled off. And the winner of the beginner category is artist Polar Bear with a piece called Lit, where we have the artist's avatar riding a dragon and setting fire to a village that they're torturing. I love the mixture of aesthetics here. It's got a really nice sense of depth because we have a really crisp, clear foreground character and avatar with a much more painterly background and just a really dramatic and ambitious aspect looking down from the sky at this burning village. Congratulations to our beginner category runner-up and winner. The runner-up will receive an item of their choosing from the jazzastudios.com shop and the winner of the beginner category will also receive an item of their choosing from the jazzastudios.com shop along with a copy of my how to draw a book, draw with Jazza, creating characters, my go-to guide for character design, following the stages of the design process, so you can create your own original cartoon and comic book characters and be satisfied with the outcome every time. They'll also receive a Stillman and Burn 5.5 by 8.5 Epsilon series sketchbook, as well as six months of premium Skillshare membership. Skillshare is an incredible website with over 18,000 classes in illustration, drawing, design, and more, and they have a special offer for Draw with Jazza viewers where premium membership usually costs $10 a month, you can use the link in the card or in the description to claim two months of premium access for only 99 cents. There is a limited number of those coupons, so get in early while you can claim them. And if you get that two months for 99 cents or a premium membership at all, you gain access to Skillshare's many thousands of incredible courses, including, and I'm very biased here, two that I think are particularly noteworthy. They're, they're mine. They're, they're mine. Courses. I made two courses on Skillshare, one on presenting to camera and the other on running a YouTube channel. So if you want to dive into my perspectives and the lessons I have to teach you on those things, go check them out, but also go dive into the incredible classes on Skillshare. The beginner category winner will also receive a Hueon H950P drawing tablet. This is a brand new drawing tablet from Hueon with a battery free stylus, edge to edge working area and a smooth paper like surface texture with over 8,190 
22 levels of pressure sensitivity. The device is thin and light, only eight millimeters in thickness and less than 500 grams in weight. And where the device usually costs only $79.99 USD, there is a further special discount for this community with 5% using the coupon code 950JAZZA. And that's only available for a limited time. And that time is coming to a close very soon. So go claim it and get your 5% off an already very affordable Hurion tablet today. Now we move on to the open category and I choose the open category winner and runner up from a pool of finalists. The finalists won't be going home empty handed. They will receive a copy of my anatomy bundle from the jazzastudios.com shop. And beyond that, all of the finalists and the runner up will be in the running for the community prize, which you guys will vote on, which we'll get to a bit later. And now it's time to jump into the pool of finalists for this month's challenge of the month. And the first in our list of finalists is artist Glitch Hop with a piece called Battle for the Final Key. This artist got really into Ready Player One and depicts their avatar engaged in the epic grandeur of the battle from the book slash movie. I love the drama of this composition. It's astoundingly well painted and it's also incredible that this artist is actually 14 years old. Mad respect to this artist. Artist Locket Angel's depiction of their oasis features a gorgeous and large jungle with trees that act as homes and temples and their avatar character walking through this magical forest with a very large squirrel-like character. I love the composition, I love the way the light bleeds through the forest and divides the foreground from the background and really gives this piece a sense of depth and scale. Artist Wigan's depiction of painting the oasis looks probably closest to what my own personal oasis would look like, one where you can just create your own world and that's one of the coolest things about virtual reality to me. This is a brilliant aesthetic, I love that texture of the paintbrushes that they've used here in this digital piece and the design of the avatar robot is just super cool. Artist Istrandar's piece Where Dreams Send Me is absolutely stunning. A huge amount of detail here and a lot of time and planning obviously went to executing this. I love the grandeur of the piece and the way that the gold rim lighting is bouncing throughout the piece and creating a nice sense of depth here. And last but not least in our pool of finalists we have Kayas Cosmo with a piece called The Increasingly Absurd Adventures of Gretchen Goosander. This is their original character and a whole bunch of worlds and scenes that they're involved in. I love the epic scale of this piece and the way that each panel tells a different story and it all comes together to something really visually appealing. And the runner up to the open category is artist Carrie's art with a piece called The Greenhouse of Volps Valley, an astounding composition with a great sense of scale and perspective. This piece is astounding, especially considering that it's a traditional piece created with watercolors and different paints on four separate pieces of paper combined and digitally retouched and enhanced to just come together in this gorgeous final entry. It's absolutely astounding and such an ambitious and beautiful piece. This piece is just exploding with energy and fun and adventure. It's fantastic. Congratulations to our open category runner-up. You will be receiving six months of free premium Skillshare membership, granting access to their many thousands of courses. You'll also receive a signed copy of the 21 Draw Illustrator's Guidebook, hardcover special edition signed by me, as well as a brand new Stillman and Burn 9x12 Epsilon series sketchbook and an item of your choosing from the jazzastudios.com shop. On top of all those great prizes, you will also still be in the running for the community voted prize. Last but not least, we have arrived to the winner of the March 20th 2018 challenge of the month, My Oasis. And the winner of the challenge of the month goes to artist Roy DM with a piece depicting an epic warrior facing a giant boss battle robot off in the distance. And I love the elements of this that all come together to really execute on the theme astoundingly well. Both the depiction of the real world of this artist in a virtual headset and the mixing of that and merging into the virtual reality of their avatar and the adventure and challenge that lies before them. A mixture of all things that this artist loves from medieval to sci-fi and fantasy, the way the colors bounce off each other, the compositional framing and the sense of symmetry and scale all come together in a piece that I feel for this theme has really hit the nail on the head and could easily be on a book or movie cover. It's just absolutely stunning. Congratulations to our first prize winner. You will be receiving one year's full premium membership on Skillshare.com, granting access to their many thousands of courses, as well as that and an item of your choosing from the jazzastudios.com shop. You will also also be the proud owner of a brand new Huion GT 156 
V2. This is Huron's brand new sleek and portable digital display drawing tablet with 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity and a 3-in-1 cable to help you get rid of the mess to bring your tablet working experience into a very concise and clean desktop. The device boasts an ultra slim body at only 15 millimeters in thickness and one and a half kilos in weight making it super easy to carry around and use with your laptop on the go or set up in your home studio as your go-to art drawing tablet. This device has an upgraded touch bar functionality and 14 user-defined express keys for the creation of your own custom shortcuts to help you save time. It usually retails at $5.99 USD and with a special discount for this community of 5% off using the code 156 Jazza, you can bring that price down even further for a limited time. The first prize winners of the open and the beginner categories of this challenge of the month will receive one year's full supporter status on Newgrounds.com, granting ad-free enjoyment of the website, username changes, secret content, exclusive previews, and more. I'm going to put a link in the description for you to vote on the community prize, which is going to go to someone from the pool of finalists or the runner-up to the open category, and they will be the proud recipient of a Hueon Inspiroy G10T drawing tablet. This is a new drawing tablet from Hueon with ultra-light metal housing design, 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity with wireless USB mode available with the included USB receiver. It has six customized press keys and touch support, and while the device usually retails, $139.99 USD, there is another special discount for this community at 5% off using the coupon code G10T5. That's G10TFIVE. These monthly art challenges wouldn't have been as exciting and awesome as they have been without the incredible support of our sponsors. So I want to thank the sponsors to this and the previous challenges of the month. The links are in the description. Just a final reminder that those Hueon discount codes are also for a limited time and they're going to be ending soon. So if you want to get one of those awesome Hueon tablets, go check out the links that are in the description down below. And of course, go claim your two months of Skillshare for only 99 cents because that also is a limited offer, which is wrapping up as well. That, ladies and gentlemen, brings us to the end of this challenge of the month and also brings us to the end of the challenges of the month, which is going to be a little disappointing for, for a lot of people watching this. And it, in a way, it's disappointing for me, but also uh, it's an evolution that's needed to happen. And like I've mentioned, there's a, a link to that vlog, which I recommend you go watch if you're upset or curious as to why this has been a change I explain it as in-depth as I possibly can in that video so I won't go uh, I won't you know drone on too long at the end of this video but I, I do want to say that this isn't the end of art challenges and a focus on the community centric content of this channel it's just an adaption to making it something that is going to remain positive and continue to provide something exciting moving forward for everyone involved with that said however as we say goodbye to the regular monthly art challenges I want I want to thank everyone who's been a part of making these as incredible as they have been because honestly I've noticed people who have entered month after month year on year and it that's why I've been pushing through and making these monthly challenges continue even when it was past the point where I wanted to continue them because I really felt like I owed it to you all to keep that alive and now that it's at a place I feel like it really needs to transition I do sincerely want to thank everyone who's been a part of making it a success making it exciting and really putting their heart and soul and time and energy into the challenges and I hope that you will go to jazzastudios.com slash challenge me and sign up to that newsletter so that when future competitions are announced you can still have that chance to choose to participate or just get involved in whatever way you feel like because this isn't the end it's just a reformatting a restructuring and hopefully into something more exciting and ambitious and fun than it has been which is the way I always like to try and do things so that being said thank you so much for watching thank you for being a part of this community and these exciting events and challenges and I sincerely look forward to the future and doing more with you in the future just in a different way thanks for watching ladies and gentlemen and until next time I'll see you later. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. And while you're at it, check out my shop where I sell eBooks, brushes, photo references, video courses, and more. There's another video you might enjoy from my channel over there. And you can also check out my behind the scenes daily vlog channel, Daily Jazza. That's it for now. And until next time, I'll see you later.